Hi everybody, I'm Julie. Welcome to Big Sky Beauty. I have got a rundown of a bunch of cosmetics that I got from a brand called City Color Cosmetics. They are out of um, Ontario, California. Uh, they're online only and they're very little known, I'm sure. I guess in a couple Ipsy bags ago, um, I think it was Ipsy, it might have been Birchbox, I'm not sure, but Bailey over at Making Up the Midwest, she was showing a blush that she had gotten in one of her monthly subscriptions from this company. And the blush is called Be Matte. And you guys might have heard about this, but um, she just raved on and on about it. And so I just had to get some. <laughs> well, I did. I ordered one of these Be, Ma Be Matte blushes. Um, now, this comes cruelty free. Um, you know, they got their little bunny on everything, so I'll just put that right out so I don't forget, because I will. This blush here is what got me interested in it, and I ordered this and a couple other items I'm going to show you. So I ordered, um, ordered one of the pearl blushes, okay, and it's got the little, you know, the little balls in it. Um, the color's great. It wears just fine, but I don't like the concept of the little balls. I don't like that, unless it's in a deep tub like Guerlain's or something. That's a different story, but um, I will never use that just because of the, you know, what it is. And then I ordered this little palette thing here. Now, I did expect this to be much bigger, but for only $2.99, I guess, you know, I got what I paid for, really. Look at that. I've got stickers that that cost more than that. I bought stickers for my grandson that cost more than that. Anyways, so, um, yeah, this little palette has, it's got a mirror right here, and then it's got six little bitty, itty bitty colors right here. <laughs> and I was pretty impressed with these. They're nice and creamy. They're pigmented. Let me move my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing, okay? They're pigmented. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then we'll go over to the other side. See? So I was quite happy with that. And like I said, these ones are creamy and they look good. They they don't have any kind of a funky smell. And a lot of times from these, uh, to be honest, you know, a lot of times from these cheaper kind of online companies, the cosmetics have a pretty bad smell sometimes, you know. And then you lift that up and there is two, well, are two little beady blushes down there. And then you get a little sponge tip and a little itty bitty brush. <laughs> Look at that brush. That's absurd. I've got eye blenders that are bigger than that. But anyways, the blushes. Um, so I'm rub them. Feel them. They're nice. I like what I saw. Okay. And then I purchased two of these uh, City Color they're little compact or they're little palettes with um, of eyeshadow. Basically they're a trio. And the first let me tell you the packaging blows all of this stuff the packaging is just about as cheap as it gets okay but I don't care about that it's the product inside that I care about okay so here is the first one that I got and this one's called morning glory and this this outlying light color is gorgeous it is beautiful I really really like it you know beautiful for the lid and right in the corner but these ones here this one and this one have nothing it's like they're just for show or something you can probably see a little bit of color there but it doesn't transfer at all I mean it's just it's bad I knew I wasn't gonna repurchase you know any more of these here now I got another one of those and this one's called shining sunflower okay now this one is an entirely different story <laughs> I don't know how but it is those are the colors in that one and beautiful okay uh they're kind of powdery and chalky but you know not too bad those are only $1.99 a piece so i got a city color city chick lipstick and uh this was like your grandma's lipstick you know like it's got a slight slight perfumey smell um it's very very creamy very creamy very pigmented uh i don't i don't mind this color too or I don't mind the lipstick much but this color didn't work um yeah too orange but 
as far as the formula, how it smells, how it performed, I was pretty happy with that. So I, you know, I've got no problem with that. So I'm going to put this over in the OK pile. All right. And then in that same load of stuff I got, I got one of their matte lipsticks. Okay. Now this stuff here, I will tell you right now, <laughs> like any other matte lipstick, it is going to dry your lips out, but the colors are fantastic and it is long, super long wearing. More long wearing actually than I even prefer. Now this one that I got is colors in salmon. And it's going on a little bit patchy because my hand's still wet from the washcloth. But they go on nice and smooth. Um, they drag. They drag hella bad because they're mats. But like no mat I've ever tried. I'll tell you. I mean, it's, it's real, but they are really good. Really good lipsticks. They got really good color payoff. And I don't really care about the the fact that they're drying because... You know, I like a matte lipstick, and I've never really tried one that didn't dry my lips hot, so it doesn't really bother me. And then I got one of their mousse blushes, okay? And, oops, I didn't think I showed you that. I got one of their mousse blushes, and um, this, again, beautiful, beautiful product. I really loved it, and I use it often. Very creamy, very smooth. Um, it sets up on the skin real well. The color is fantastic. I was really happy with these. Then I, my dumb butt should have gotten more, but no, I didn't. Okay, and then I got one of their, oh, where is it? There it is. And then I got one of their uh, stick blushes, and I have already showed you this in a side-by-side -side with the Maybelline and the NYX. And the one I got was in Coral. Okay, and that was that one right there. Beautiful, beautiful stick blushes. I love this product. So then last thing I got was a pigment and that I love so much. Let's see, there it is. And this one that I got is in maroon. And it's just beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I bought the rest of the cream blushes or the stick blushes and they only sent me two of them. Mm. But I will show you those first, okay? <laughs> This is kind of funny. I got a mauve, mauve, and a berry. Okay. This is the berry. Looks like a mauve, mauve, doesn't it? And this is the one that's supposed to be berry or mauve. Maybe it looks mauve in the camera, but in my on my hand, it looks like a light peach color. So the color is definitely off, and I am seeing that this one here is uh, got a bit of a shimmer to it and the other one does not the other one's completely matte and there's no indication on the website or you know on the listing of these no indication that any of them are shimmer or matte or otherwise so and of course the B matte is just oh my gosh you the only problem that I have with these blushes and they are gorgeous and you get like holy crap nine grams of product all right so I'm going to dip my brush in it, not too much, but do you see, see all that kick up? Do you see everything that's on the brush? Oh my gosh, look at this, watch. Do you see that falling down? Yeah, kicks up a lot of product. I mean, it's, it's bad. That's what it looks like on the skin. It's what I'm wearing today. So if you can see that, yeah, I'm sure you can. So I really do like those though, and I and I um, will probably repurchase those at some time in the future. I just haven't done it yet. So what I got this go around, I got another pigment, okay, and I got the one in green, and it's more of a kind of a sea green or something. It's not really the green that I was hoping it was going to be. And I like it. It's very beautiful, very very pretty. I was happy or am happy with the pigments okay I also ordered three more of the matte lipsticks because even though it is like chalk on your lips <laughs> I found it stays on my lips really well the color was really good and I really liked it so I ordered three more and I got taupe which is what I have on my lips now okay and then I got uh, mauve mauve which is this color. It is gorgeous. And then I purchased um, Soft Pink. And this one here does not look like it did on the on the website. And I can't wear that color. I am 
no. <laughs> so this will be going to one of my girls or something. I'm not sure. But I am really, I am pretty happy with these. I, you know, they're they're matte lipsticks. Everything that I'm showing you is only two dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay. So yeah, I'm okay with them, and I'll probably order a few others from the line because I'm 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 happy with them. Now, I did order a lip lush um, lip. It's a pencil stick, you know, a chubby stick. But I wouldn't know what it looks like because it doesn't twist up. This thing is like, it's not moving at all. They're busted. All right. I also ordered two of their lip balms, but this packaging broke as well. And this was just the first time that I took it out to pull it apart. See? My first, in, my initial taking it out of the package to pull it apart and look at the color, that's what happened. So, the packaging is extremely poor. I mean, it couldn't get any cheaper. But, I really, really like these, you guys. This one here is in, um, oh gosh, Berry Rose. These are super soft, super creamy, highly pigmented. They're just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, you know, I wouldn't really call any of these lipsticks long-lasting, except for the matte ones. You have to take that off. But uh, they last long enough for me. And so, you know, I would say a couple hours, but they're only $1.99 these cost. Okay? And then this one is, um, oh gosh, Fuchsia. Okay? And it is just a pretty... It, it reminds me of NYC's Blue Rose, that Blue Rose color that they came out with that makes your lips look, uh, or your teeth look white. It's the same kind of color. But these are beautiful, beautiful lipsticks, and these are the lip balms is what they're calling them on the site. I picked up uh, one of their mosaic blushes. Now, I was going to actually go down and get one of Maybelline's master class you know part of their master class thing i think that's what they're called i don't own any of those because i don't want any <laughs> i have enough blushes i don't need any more but i wanted to get this to see if it's any kind of comparison to those and by the time i did was going to sit down and do this video i thought ah uh, people know what that thing looks like you know if you guys want to see a side by side with them then i will go down and grab one of those I've always, I can always spray it with Beauty So Clean and use it on my customers, so it's or my clients, no big deal. But um, this is what I got it for, and it comes in, and I tell you, the blushes in these products are the only things that the packaging is any worth a crap. Pardon me, and that's the product there. And again, it is very smooth, very creamy, beautiful, beautiful product. I have to say, the in this line of cosmetics the blushes are the absolute standouts hands down very very pretty i've got it as a bronzer now hopefully it's not blotchy <laughs> but it's comparable to the ones that i've swatched out of ultra which is the maybellines and those cost 10 bucks and this one cost dollar nine two ninety nine so and then i purchased one of the rosy cheeks now oddly enough this packaging is twice the substant you know twice as substantial as either of these. These are really light and kind of rattle, you know, but this one is quite nice. So I don't know what the heck, but this one is, yeah, a very nice packaging. This one's called Rosy Cheeks, and this one is in Sweet Pea. And there is the color, and this is kind of, I, I compare this to a knockoff of Milani's Rose Blushes. Um, that limited edition ones they came out with because it has the rose on it. But I've been playing with it so much you can't see it so much because this blush is gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. It is highly pigmented. It goes on the face. You know, it sits beautiful on the skin. It blends out gorgeous without blending away the color like a lot of, you know, your cheaper lower end blushes would do. It is just a superior product, and I have already went on and purchased the other three in this in this little um, you know quad set that they have. I also got a lip liner. It's just a basic lip liner. Um, I got mine in raisin, I think it's called. But uh, yeah, it's just a basic lip liner. You know what more can I say about it? It works. <laughs> Uh, 
it's very little, little itty bitty. Do you see how little that thing is? So you're probably getting half the product in one of these that you would if you were to go down to the store and buy a lip liner. Yeah. Plus, when I opened it a minute ago, this whole thing came out. This whole top came off. And so, yeah, um, just cheap packaging, bad. Okay, and then one more thing that I'm going to tell you about that is excellent, excellent, excellent. And I have already went back on and bought a bunch of these. This is their dual lip color. And it's got a little bitty lipstick at the end. Look at that. That's it. <laughs> little bitty. But then you get a whole tube. Well, not a whole tube, but a, you know, probably about a tart mini, I guess, of lip gloss. And this is gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous. They smell like um, cherry Kool-Aid. Okay. The other lippies don't. The other lipsticks in the line don't smell like that. But this one smells like cherry Kool-Aid. And that is the color. This one is in the mauve. Mauve. Okay. That's the lipstick. Very creamy. Very pigmented. Moisturizing. It stays on your lips for as, as moist as it is. I wouldn't think that it would stay on that well. But it does. And it's just gorgeous. And this is the lip gloss. And I am really loving this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it is super slick. You know what? The, this lip gloss reminds me of the uh, it reminds me of the consistency of the Maybelline and New York elixirs. Um, very, very slick and creamy. Zero sticky tacky. It, they are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how we go from something as good quality as this to something like this, but then I don't know what is inside of it because it's broken. Okay, the last three things I got out from this company were these three eyeshadow quads. Okay, beautiful, beautiful quads. Let me, okay. these are the quads. Gorgeous, right? Now, when I first swatched these, I thought, hmm, well, that's not too bad. Kind of chalky, kind of patchy. Okay. You can see how patchy that is. When I first swatched them, that's what I thought, okay? Now, these two here are matte. These are all matte. This one here has got a little bit of shimmer in it, okay? And I found that these um, swatch quite a bit better than the matte ones, as you can see, okay? okay? Because I just got this stuff yesterday, but I played with it all afternoon and all evening, and then I used the out on. Me and my husband went and ate dinner. I posted a picture of him on Instagram. And by the time I realized it, it was too late to do anything about it. But these are horrible, you guys. Horrible. Do not blend. I cannot get them to blend out. They, the only place you have the color is right where you put the brush on your eye. And then you might be able to pull a little bit over, but it's stuck. And the whole time that I am trying to do my eyes last night, I'm, what does that smell? I smell like a modeling clay or something. It's these. They smell, no, not modeling, crayons. They smell like crayons. They smell absolutely horrible. Horrible! Two matte ones are terrible. Absolutely terrible. So if you guys head to City Color and pick up anything that I'm showing you, do not look just you're, you'll see these on there pass right over them because they they blow so in in summary of the city color cosmetics um the eyeshadow quads were a complete bust lip balms were fantastic the packaging sucks really bad you guys <laughs> really bad super happy with the lip duo this is a beautiful product and i will you know, I will, I've already went back and repurchased all of these. Even with one's colors that I won't use, I got them because they're so good, I can use them on clients, you know. Um, the lip liner, mm, I, I ain't going to get any more of this just because uh, it's so small. You're getting such a small amount of product. The packaging is really cheap, and lip liners are pretty fa fragile anyway. And although I like the retractableness of it, I'm not going to take the chance of it busting and being worthless like this one here that I don't even know anything about this product because it does not go up and down. So, uh, the blushes, love, love the cream blushes. And I should have gotten all three of those. The matte lipsticks, I like these as well. Very, very dry, very dry, stiff. Uh, they're not sticky whatsoever. They're matte. 
they're matte lipsticks, you guys. You know, I've never really found one that wasn't drying to the lips. So you put a little gloss over the top, but that kind of removes the whole matte thing, right? <laughs> um, I just slap a little bit of Aquaphor on my lips after I take it off, and I'm fine. The pigments, I really, really like the pigments. And I also love the cute little containers they come in. So here are the Mousse Blush. Beautiful product. I have already ordered a couple more of these. Uh, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. They last, too. They actually last on your cheeks. I'm, I'm really, really happy with the blush. The blushes across the board are beautiful. The cream ones and the powder ones. Uh, the lippies, everything was nice, except I wouldn't know about this one. Pass on the eyeshadows. I wouldn't even get, you know, none of them. I wouldn't even get this, these, because even these aren't worth just part of it. You know, it's stupid. So, yeah, that is my little review of City Color Cosmetics. I didn't want this to be too long. I am really trying to get my videos to 10 minutes and under, but when you've got a whole bunch of stuff to show like this, that's really kind of difficult to do. So, that's all I got. I love you all so much, and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.